it's Jerry Ann with Scrap and Stamp Creations.blogspot.com and I am working on um, the teddy bear gift card holder using the cottage cuts as well as Cherry Lynn di um, dies. And this is par the second card in a series for my YouTube, my Ustream channel. So, the best part about this I absolutely loved was that it is a gift card holder. So this comes out. This is our piece with our gelatos. You flip it over and it's a gift card holder. All right. So the things that you're going to need for this are the dies for the teddy bear. You're going to need a eight by three and a half piece of white card stock. You're going to need a standard card in white, a white card, as well as a brown mat that is cut exactly the same size, so four and a quarter by five and a half. You're going to want to cut out one of the bows and the teddy bear pieces, and you can color them in. You can do the same white piece where we, we did them white, and then you color them all with inks and everything. Um, but... I have multiple of these to do tonight because I wanted to really show you guys how it works. So I'm going to show you guys how to color your tag because the very first thing that is is that your tag is white. And I'm going to walk you through. I did pre-do a few things because I wanted, again, to be able to show you the gelato pieces and be able to move to the next one. All right? Okay. So here is where I used my... Um, my Xyron sticker maker in order to put all of my pieces on stickies. Here is my cute little bear that I already inked up and my pieces. You are going to need the 3 16 large brads. Um, these are American Craft and I know that Barry and Carol have them in their store over at scrappydabadoo.com. Um, I have a metallic pack, but you can use silver or any of the colors or that. You're going to need a piece of acetate or a page protector piece or, you know, something like that at four inches. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me, four inches by five and a quarter. And again, you're going to need your brown piece. That's the same size as your card. And you're going to need um, your tag piece, which is eight inches by three and a half. And I have some old cards that have like a decorative edge and stuff on them. Doesn't bother me. I'm going to use them and just cover it up. All right. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and you want to glue this brown piece right to the front of your... Um, card and I have two different options I love this glue this is the Tombow glue stick um, it's the Tombow mono glue stick they are like $4.99 they're expensive glue sticks but they are really really nice they're my favorite you can also use the pioneer embellishment glue stick but I find that it's smaller no way it's the same size right it's not smaller of course it's smaller so anyway i tend to like this glue a lot and maybe it's just because i'm you know that way so i want to open my card up and you want to go ahead and glue this brown piece right on and you want to use a glue stick for this you do not want to use um your atg gun because we're going to die cut through both pe both pieces Okay. Okay. So we're going to put that down. You're going to put this right along the edge, line it all up really nice and pretty. Okay. Give it a good smush. I'm going to get rid of this piece of paper with colors on it. Okay, give it a good smush. I feel like I'm sliding off my table here. All 
All right. <clears throat> now, what we're going to do is we are going to take our die, and this is where that little bit of tape comes. So, um, <laughs> I've been on Ustream now um, a year and a half. Almost two years. January will be two years. I made a choice almost, a, well, almost two years ago that I was going to do Ustreams. And that, yeah, so two years. So what you're going to do is you're going to line up your die kind of in the middle to make it look like a window. And you're going to use some washi tape. And you definitely are going to have to put down the washi tape and the nice thing is because it's low tack of course it doesn't rip up your paper and things like that and because it comes in an ungodly amount <laughs> um, I don't feel bad just using it to hold dies okay so what you're gonna do now is because these dies have to be cut face up on your machine. I'm going to grab my machine so you guys can see because normally I, I pre-cut the other ones. Ouch. That's a big one. Yeah. It does. Tony was my first friend on Ustream. And we got to meet in Las Vegas at CHA and have a grand old time. And we're going again in January. I can't, can't be more excited. Okay, so A plate, metal shim. If you don't have one of these, you really need to buy one. Yes, I know it's like a $10 or whatever, but you know what? I'm telling you, you need one. Buy it. Get it in a set. Something. It really makes a difference. Then you're going to put your C plate down. You're going to take your card and flip it over and put it on your machine. You're going to put your B plate on. And then you're going to hold your machine and roll through. And because I am on this cute little thing. And you want to actually go a couple of times. You want to go a couple of times. Because it really needs to press in there because it's going through two pieces of paper. Okay? Ugh. And then you lift your piece out, you take your die off the front gently. Doesn't stick to anything. And voila! You now have punched out little pieces that if you just run your finger over them, they should poke through. If not, grab your pokey tool which I love, and just help them out a little bit. They should just poke, okay? Love this die, love this die. I saw Christine do something with this and decided I needed to have it and then never used it. So then I saw this bear and thought, oh, he needs a window. All right, so then you take all that little stuff and you throw it on the floor. And if you use, again, use a little bit of your, um, your uh, wax paper on the dies, they pop right out. Love this die. All right, next step. Let's, um, let's get our window together. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our cute little bear. And again, I colored him up. You can see I used a little bit like we did on the last card. 
And I just ink the edges with the, where is it? I ink the edges with the colors. I did, when I cut this guy out, I cut three different colors so that you can see he's got a brown nuzzle, muzzle. And so when we go and put the other cards together as well, because I really want you guys to see how this really just goes together, because that way. Okay. So what we're going to do is our little bear here, just gets put together like a puzzle. He just put his little ears on. And you give him his little muzzle in a different color. And you give his nose and apparently I missed that little place. Yes, the, this die comes in the Christmas kit from Barry and Carol. And again, you can cut him out and use him. So there he is, really cute. Oh, all right. <clears throat> so he has little feet. And he's going to end up kind of in here. So what we're going to do next is we're going to take our piece of uh, clear, where did it go? That's not nice. Where did it go? Okay, where do we see the shiny thing go, guys? not nice. I'm stealing one from another one. Okay, well. Oh, I did. I used my... bummed I can't find my piece of acrylic. <laughs> Alright, not gonna worry. Not gonna worry. Oh, we already have that open. Alright, so we're gonna take our score tape. And because our acrylic piece is bigger than the window. You're just going to go right along the edge of it. All the way around. Well, and I showed you guys. You don't know what I did with it. It's here. I'm sure it's here somewhere. and take this off. And we're going to go ahead and center this right here in the piece. Okay? And it is going to create our window. Okay? 
Now our cute little bear head. He's coming here. He kind of gets over here. And he's got a foot here and a foot here. Now, to get his hat on, What we do is we build our hat because those are all stuck to each other. It works out really well. And then it becomes a sticker just the same. Actually, I need him first. So we got his feet. Get him in there. All right. And now the hat is sticky, so I'm sure that's going to be fun. And that, with sticking the hat down, leaves our bear stuck there. Okay? Okay? So now, what we need to do is we're going to add a little piece of pop dot. Oh, I found my tape. Oh, and I found my, nope, that's not my piece. Anyway, mm -hmm. what I do is I just take a little itty bitty square and you can do whatever, however you want it. And you stick it the back there. The bear is really cute. And I stick him right there. So now he's kind of up and cute and and all of that. So now he's got a bow like he's looking out the window. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our score tape and go right along the edge one side and we're going to go along the bottom because this is going to make our pocket. These I think I'm using for teacher gifts this year. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna close them all up. Okay, now we have just the pocket on the top to let our, our um, tag go in. Okay, so now we've got all of that. We're down to our long white piece, which I stuck right here. I was hoping the other piece was there too. And you throw all the score tape pieces on the floor. And we get to play their gelatos again. Okay. And again, this one's got the pieces in it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same technique we did before. We're going to take and put the blue right in the middle. And we're going to take our other blue and kind of go around the edges.
and we're going to take our purple and go around the edges of that. Okay. And then we're going to turn it over and do exactly the same thing. That's exactly how you're supposed to do it. That's why there's a broom and a dustpan in this house. All right, so now we've colored both sides. Okay. We're going to move our stuff away a little bit. You're going to grab a clean baby wipe. Okay, you're going to bunch it up again. You're going to wear a white shirt when you do this so that you can get the gelatos all in your white shirt. You're going to start in the middle and do swirls. And then you're going to go around and bring the purple in in the swirly area, which is also going to bring that blue in. And then if you get away from it a little bit, you can find a clean spot. The thing I like is the little swoopy, whirly things that make it look like it's kind of going places. And you do one side. And then you turn it over. And you either find a clean baby wipe or a clean spot on this baby wipe. And you do exactly the same thing. Okay. And then you set it to dry. Because it's really wet. Two sides. Okay, try and clean your hands off as best as you can. Ugh. Gelatos are messy. You don't want things to have color on them. Do not have them on your desk. So then you're going to move this over, set it aside, and let it dry until it looks like so this one goes over here now. With this and this. Ah. All right, so I... I left these in part so I could go over putting the acrylic piece in it again, but I need to cut one. Because really, I don't know where it went. That's mean. Yeah, I really was having issues with the gelatos ahead of time. So, you know what, guys, let me, give me just a second, let me... I have a peach protector thingy right here. Let me just cut it really fast. Since I don't know where the other one went. Let's get it in there. All right, four inches by five and a quarter. I'm sure this piece is on the floor somewhere. <clears throat> Here's our cute little bear in this one. 
We're just going to give him his hair. His little nose. Here are his ears. And I just, like I said, I cut this bear out of three different colors. You know, I really, I tried. <laughs> when I went to CHA, that was the one thing that I really wanted them at the Fiber Castell people to help me with. And until I found the baby white piece to it, it was really hard. I will be very honest with you and tell you, I found it very difficult to use them. Until I came across something that said, use the baby white. All right, so again, we're just adding the little acrylic piece that's cut a quarter of an inch smaller than the inside of your card after it's been die cut. Let's try this way this time. And again, our sticky pieces. We're going to put our Santa hat together. Mm. And put him on his hat there. Now, if we undo just this bottom one, stick that there, then we can position our cute little bear here in the window. And there we go. That's what it is. Okay, <clears throat> and then you gently pull <laughs> All right, there's our cute little bear that goes together really fast once you do those things. All right, so, and here's our trusty little bow that goes in our piece here. This is what the piece looks like, really nice. It's got a nice little purple hue to it. Um, you're gonna take and fold this puppy up by two inches at either end. And I'm just using the grid paper here just to fold that up. And I'm going to use my corner rounder. Yeah, the blues are hard to find. That and the white. You want to grab that white one. Okay? So let's go ahead and do both of these ones at the same time because it's a really cool technique. Corner round, corner round, and each piece is different. So you can see this one's a lot darker. This one's more purple, this one's a lot darker. <laughs> Okay, now what you're going to need is the snowflake, a snowflake die. Mm, let me see where did, mm. where did I put it? You're going to need 
the snowflake embossing powder. This one again, really old, really, 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 really old. Don't know if you can still get it, just know that it's old. <laughs> but I love it. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna need our cuddle bug again, and you're gonna need the A plate and the two B plates, and your machine. Okay, A plate, semi warped B plate, kettle bug folder, really warped B plate, and you're gonna squish it through. And then you're going to pull it out and you'll see that it's embossed. And then you're gonna take it on the other side as well. And you're gonna line it up kind of differently. The nice thing about the puddle bug folders is you can run them up and down or sideways in your cuddle bug. So now you have a piece that looks like this. I'm going to do the second piece at the same time. Well, I'm about using what I have. I'm more of a, I'm finding I'm more of a tool girl than I am anything else. And I keep finding, <laughs> I'm finding that I'm going back to the things that I love and, and reusing those things. And it's like, do I need to buy another snowflake embossing holder or can I just use the one that I have? Okay, so now we're going to make some magic, guys. Stealing, stealing Kathy Orta's word. And that uh, we're going to make some magic. You ready? It's my favorite part. White gelato. Ready? Instant snow scene. And then you can just rub your fingers over them and it lightens things up. <laughs> All right, ready again? So we have embossed, no, <laughs> no gelato. <laughs> I am so excited. I even asked Carol if she could buy these in bulk. Because now we know that you can do this. I'm like, really? We're going to have to find something to do with the black ones. Because <laughs> they only come in sets. And if you just rub, just gives it that frosty little. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I get so excited about the things that I absolutely adore. All right, now I have to figure out where the fold was again. And so you can see the other side. I mean, we can, we can do the opposite the other side. like how much is left in my gelato thing the other thing is is that they don't tell you your tube is not opaque so we don't know how much of it we used yet yes nope they dry they do dry
Oh, you came back just in time. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm just like, really? All right. We're going to fold this up again. <laughs> and I'm trying to see where my fold was. There it is. Your paper remembers. All right. So what I did is I took my trusty little score tape and really you should let these dry a little. Just squish them in there really good. This makes the pocket and so the pop part is the outside. This is the pocket on the inside for your gift card. So love this. It's so much fun. You guys. I got two cards done. The other ones will go really super fast, I promise. Okay, these were the hardest ones. Okay, so we have our two cute little things. Now what we need to do is they need a pulley. So in order to do the pulley thing, stick it in your card and it's gonna stick out by half an inch and then just kind of eyeball it. And then what you're gonna do, oh, we still need this. I gave my little guy away, just because I tend to use the big guy because I like the fact that I can get in here way far with this one. All right, so here's this guy. So we're gonna go ahead and use our our big guy. And on the back of the packaging for the American Crafts and any of the other big ones, it tells you what to set your crocodile on. So. <laughs> to work hard I had to work hard on the whole figuring out the gelato thing because it was really it is hard it is not an easy if you can't make them work they really I really struggled with them I I made them <laughs> I I made them at CHA in Vegas <laughs> help me and I still didn't like them. And then it was the baby wipe. I'm sure it's the baby wipe that saved the day. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and I've got some red ribbon. And you just tie a knot in the top. I know Carol got some cute red ribbon, so if you need red ribbon. All right. And then, this one we didn't close up. Let's close this puppy up. So we got two that are all done. So then you're going to run, again, the score tape along the side. And these are great because they're a gifty item without being, you know, kind of, here's a gift card. So. All right. And so then the cool thing is, is when you pop this in, it makes it look like there's a snow scene behind your little bear guy. And it's all Christmassy. I just love it. All right. Any questions on this this technique, guys? <laughs> all I care is that we find a way to get bulk white ones. <laughs> and.
And then my cute little bear, when I did the third bear, um, he's brown. Oh, wait, we've, we've got... On the back, it should say... It can say anything you want it to. This one says, Happy Berry Holidays. Because these are going to be for teacher gifts. Now... And then your trusty little um, card fits in. And then you can always write on the back of the card. The other thing that I thought was really cool about these is that, honestly, you could make them into an ornament. And, that, and hang them on the tree as a gift. Um, you could put them together as an ornament, any of that kind of stuff. So that's always cool. All right, so we've finished those. These are just adorable. Okay, more garbage for the floor. I'm going to put all our last little pieces in for the other one that's drying. Put it back in our trusty little thing here. All right, I'm going to hit the stop on the recording again. You guys are going to hear my spiel because I've got... Oh my goodness, do I, I really have, I have three more cards. But let's do the easy one. All right, so the next one we're going to do is, um, we're going to do the pink bows. Um, this is the blue card that I did, but we're going to do it with the pink. So I'm going to hit the stop button on the record. And we'll hit the go again in a minute.